when we started it, we set the goal at $500,000. We got to $100,000, and one individual called and said, I will get you to your goal. And he donated $400,000. That individual was anonymous until now. He has uh, said that we could release his name. It was Stephen Klubeck donated $400,000 uh, to support this community. Joining us now, MSNBC's Stephanie Rule. Stephanie, you've been reporting on how people have been reaching out and helping. It's a lot more than that. Las Vegas is a town of tourism, but it's also a state that loves its guns. I sat down with Steve Kulbeck. He runs Diamond Resorts. He ran the Vegas Beautification Project and said, what does this town need? More than money, enough is enough in terms of guns. And that's what we talked about. Enough is enough. It's about time we have some bipartisan leadership and fix these gun laws. I talked to my ultra Republican friends, and I'm on the other side, but I have a gun, and I had a concealed weapon permit. I'm okay with guns. It's just not 42 mechanized weapons with thousands of rounds of ammunition. Well, let's say the gun laws don't change because based on Nevada history, it doesn't feel like they're changing anytime soon. Well, let's talk How about that. How do you that. run, well, hold on. How do you run a hotel safely in a place like this knowing you've got gun laws as lax as they are? Well, let me tell you how you do it. First of all, I can tell you that Mr. Murren at MGM, Mr. Adelson and Goldstein at the Venetian and Palazzo, Mr. Wynn at his resorts and the others, they have the best security professionals in the world working at their hotels. What you need to do is start to pass gun laws. And we did actually, the voters passed a gun law last cycle. And unfortunately, Mr. Adam Laxalt, our attorney general, killed it. So shame on him, shame on Adam Laxalt. If he wants to see something, tell him to come down to this site and see lipstick and empty shoes and dead bodies. Shame on him and shame on the others in Washington that don't get it. If they want a first understanding of what it's like to be in a war zone, come down here. President Trump has said he's bound to no one, he's pragmatic. Could this not be his moment to say, Let's go. Gun control. Imagine all the people in the middle he would win over. Now, Steve Bannon has said if the president touches gun control, it's over. He loses his base. What do you think happens? I'm a hotelier like him. We both made our money. He started with a little bit more than me. But if he wants to stand his line and be like I am, an independent spirit, a businessman, a true entrepreneur, Enough is enough, Mr. President. Stand up and say it. Enough is enough. Stephanie, you find people outside of politics have no problem talking about this. Listen, Steve Klubeck is thinking about running for governor as a Democrat mm -hmm. of Nevada, but Sheldon Adelson, Steve Wynn, these are big Republicans in this town, but they need to run massive hotels at a time when are you going to get 45 million tourists feeling safe in Las Vegas? This is a moment for President Trump. We've said, or is he ever going to pivot? This could be a moment for him. He said he's, a, he said he's pragmatic. He says he's bound to no one. Well, great. Do something. Do something now. Keep to it. 22,000 people ran right by where we are running for their lives two nights ago. Mm -hmm. Think about all the people who want some sort of change, Lawrence. And the president so far is in that Republican chorus of uh, now is not the time to talk about it. When is the time to talk about it? After a massive storm, are you not supposed to talk about climate? After the financial crisis, didn't you talk about banking? After something like this, it's a top of mind. And I assure you, parents, family members of those who lost their lives, they want to talk about gun control. And when we, when we have industrial accidents, people talk about the safety measures you would have to take for that particular plant. That, that is when they talk about it's it. It's exactly when you talk about it. And Lawrence, it's not saying let's do away with guns, but in terms of what this man did, the access he had, and again, how lax it is in the state of Nevada, the fact that you could walk into a hotel, request a room on the 32nd floor, and bring in dozens of weapons, it's got to be something we need to address. Stephanie Rule, thank you very much.
much. Long day for you. Appreciate you staying with us. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.